Greg Messam's corner gets up a good assist. One of the best moments of the 1998 World Cup qualifying campaign. And it was a local player, Ian Pepe Goodison, who was at the centre of it. One day short of a year after that moment, Jamaica achieved its dream of going to the greatest show on earth. A dream which was overseen by this man, who was called the Professor René Simois. Before his era began, Jamaica had a lot of talent. Individual names which had some resonance of sorts in the football world the likes of Lindy Delapena and Alan Skill Cole. But in the 1998 World Cup qualifying campaign, Simois got a squad together of mostly local players. Goodison, Duran Brown, Linville Dixon, the teenager, uh, Ricardo Bibi Gardner, Theodore Whitmore, and a couple others were the core of that squad. The first four matches in that final round of World Cup qualifiers saw the Reggae Boys picking up only two points. And only a long-range strike from another teenager in the squad, Andy Williams, against El Salvador in the midday sun in a sparsely populated national stadium kept them in the hunt. That goal in front of only 12,000 patrons was the turning point of that campaign. But after that game, we did not see Williams again in that qualifying campaign, mainly because of injury. Neither did we see Walter Boyd, mainly because of discipline issues. Simois had then drafted in a few UK-based players, led by one Dion Burton. But there wasn't an influx of UK-based players at the time, but merely a trickling. Paul Hall, Fitzroy Simpson, and Rob Earl pretty much completed the package, and all of them didn't walk straight into the 11. Simois was fixated on getting the chemistry right. The nucleus of that squad was the local guys. And that 98 campaign was turned around by a 19-year-old nicknamed The Bomber. Fast forward to the current campaign and the subject on everyone's lips at the moment, Jermaine Anderson. It took an almost nationwide call for the Waterhouse striker to have been inserted in the squad. Not the 11, the squad for these World Cup qualifiers. His goal on Tuesday night rubbed salt in the wounds of the naysayers. And it wasn't an ugly goal. It was a typical poacher's strike that had it been done by a Robin Van Persie or Luis Suarez, it would have been used as just another fine example of their genius inside the box. But it wasn't an overseas player. It was Tuffy. I want you guys to listen to this. A couple of days later, this was what the JFF boss, Captain Horace Burrell, had to say about Jermaine Anderson. I am yet to see a young man which with such resilience. I am yet to see a young man with such determination, with such love for country, and all those qualities. So it is not only topic, it is the lessons which would have been learned from Tuffy's performance. What lesson would that be? If a local player has a talent and the will is proving himself and is dedicated to his craft but is not selected to a 25-man squad repeatedly, that's an indictment on the coaching staff which you selected, Mr. Burrell. Indeed, it's an indictment of the JFF which you lead. That's GPS comment for tonight. Godspeed.